Hello and welcome, we're live in the lab and I'm joined today by Dr. Kristen Rudolph and Sadia, who's a current uh, biomedical science um, student studying here at Brunel University London. Um, if you want to ask any questions to these guys live, you can do that in the comments section and they'll answer them for you. Um, and obviously you can keep the comments um, rolling even after we finish. Um, so Dr. Kristen, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone please? Yeah, so my name is Dr. Kristen Rudolph, I've been here at Brunel for six years now. Um, I'm a cell biologist and I teach cell biology, um, which is quite suitable, really. And I teach the level one cohort, so if you come to join us, you'll experience me right away. Fantastic, that's really good. And Sadia, do you want to um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself as well? Hi, I'm Sadia, and I'm a, I just finished my second year of biomedical science at the university. I'm going into placement year next year, and then come back to finish my third year here. I've started my placement at Royal Brompton Hospital, that's where I have it starting in September. Oh, fantastic, that's really good. So you're doing the placement years, that means you're studying your first and second year, yeah. you're going out to work for a year, and then you'll yeah. go back for your final year. Yeah, and then I come back for my final Fantastic. Year. Are you excited to start? Yeah, I'm quite, I am, because it's like lab-based, and I like lab-based stuff. Fantastic. So like, awesome, brilliant. Um, so Dr. Kristen, do you want to tell us a little bit about the modules, um, maybe some of the ones that you teach, um, and structure them? Yeah, so the structure of what we do is ever so slightly different because we don't have this very traditional model of you study, let's say, biochemistry and then you have coursework in biochemistry and an exam in biochemistry. We try to break this up a bit because in a real work environment, of course, you will not get the answer in one place. You need to draw information from as many um, sources as possible. So we have what we call study blocks, those are lectures, and um, we have things like critical thinking, which I teach, or cell biology. Um, which we teach biochemistry, anatomy and physiology and then we have assessments and those assessments are not directly linked but for example it might be an assessment about microscopy so the students will have experienced microscopy um, in biology of the cell uh, looking at microorganisms or anatomy and physiology looking at histologies of organs that sort of thing and they have to draw those information together into one piece of work. Fantastic, awesome. So you've touched there a little bit about the um, assessment. So um, is it mainly exam-based or mainly kind of theory-based? Is there kind of um, differences between? Yeah, so we have 120 credits each year and um, 80 credits uh, are in fact coursework. Mm -hmm. Then we have 20 credits of a more traditional unseen exam, which is actually not all that much. And then we have what we call a synoptic exam, which again reinforces this point of having um, uh, information from various places. So the synoptic exam, the question is um, posted one week in advance because the students are now supposed to do some research, look at the lecture notes and books, and then essentially after one week of research they come in and they have a pre-prepared answer that they have to write down without any further materials. So the exam, uh, hopefully the, the pressure by the exams is actually relatively low because um, there are not all that many. And they're quite prepared for the yes. that's right about that's really interesting. And um, what about the sort of difference between theory and then lab base? So is there kind of a percentage that you can give it all or? That's relatively difficult to say purely because things like critical thinking, what I teach, has no lab based parts. Mm -hmm. um, other parts that we teach are entirely in the lab. Okay. Um, so we asked, simply asked the student and said, how does it feel? How, how do you think the ratio is? And they said it feels like it's about for every lecture hour we have one hour in the lab. Right, okay, so about 50-50 then yeah. roughly. Um, fantastic, that's really interesting. Um, and how have you kind of found that? You say you really like sort of doing the lab stuff, would you say it feels like 50 50? It really does. We spend like uh, four, four days some, sometimes and three days sometimes in like labs, no, uh, in lectures, but we have like one hour to our lectures a day. And we have a lab based day, it's usually on Thursdays. We're coming at like 9 to 12. Wow, so quite a long kind of time yeah, lapse to really kind of get the most out of it. That's really good. Yeah. Um, and what about modules? What are your kind of favourite modules? Do you have your favourite modules? I've chosen, the modules I've chosen this year. Secondly, our genetics and development and analytical biochemistry. Okay. Yeah. So are you specialising in any particular part of um, biomedical science within the pathways or are you staying with your generic biomedical science? I haven't yet. I'm just staying in generic. Fantastic. Now. Okay, brilliant. And then obviously um, you can develop that later. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of like first year, they teach you what every module has for the second year, and then they give you like a choice of what modules you want to pick, and then you pick from there. Brilliant. So, so it is actually also in terms of the clearing activities, is quite important to note it's really flexible. Yeah. So wow. students can swap around. Sometimes they can go through the entire first year, they have chosen something, then they don't want it, and they still can swap over. Yeah. So we try to keep that really, really flexible to, to tailor to student needs. Yeah, they do. Oh, brilliant. That's really fantastic. So it's really kind of tailored towards the students. Then. Yeah. 
That's really great. So you get the most out of it. That's really good. Um, so what about you, Dr. Are you research active at the moment? I am indeed. So I'm a cell biologist. I see myself as a cancer biologist, but at the moment uh, we are uh, using uh, a bacterium as our model organism of choice. It's just because it's a lot easier to work with and quicker as well. But um, so technically I'm a cell biologist. I'm interested in the inner workings of the cell. And um, that translates straight into my teaching as well, because as it so happens, I teach cell biology, which is a good coincidence. So every now and then, when we have a new exciting finding in the lab, I come uh, into the lectures, I'm very excited, and I give the students a snippet of, inf of information that is brand new and that nobody in the world actually has. Wow. That's amazing, because that must make you feel really special, and it must be really inspirational in your lectures, you know, to have um, academics that kind of have all this knowledge and it's all up to date. It really is. They give like first-hand experience on like lectures. Every time they research on something, they get results. They come and tell us, and like we get first-hand experience on everything. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, you feel like you're really kind of developing into the role, and then obviously when you go off to place, you have to apply um, a lot of obviously what you're learning and doing. Yeah. Um, after. So have you got a plan for what you might do as a career after, or what sort of careers are available to you? I don't know yet what I want to get into personally, but there are a lot of careers available. Like biomedical science, you can get into research or like lab based if you like doing practical. You can, get, you can do like a graduate degree, another, another oh, degree. postgraduate, yeah. yeah. You can do a postgraduate or get into medicine. Or oh, fantastic. Get into that. Yeah. Um, and with the postgraduate degree, so what sort of options are there for students once they've finished at their undergraduate degree? So at the moment we certainly have a, a master's degree in molecular biology and cancer um, that, we, that we offer and there's more to come as well. We also have PhD programs as well that the students can join. Um, so also um, if the students decide to stay uh, for a master's, to do a master's degree here they will get some reductions in the fees. So there's preferential treatment really as well. Good. Yeah, fantastic, really good incentive to sort of stay on yeah. here for now. Um, so what made you choose to come and study biomedical science here at Brunel? Here at Brunel, my first option was Brunel, mostly because their degree is accredited by Royal Society of Biology. Wow. Okay. Because that helps you on like choosing a placement. Mm -hmm. And I live like one hour from here, so it's really convenient like commuting here. Oh brilliant. Okay, so you commute so you don't um you never lived on campus, no, you just commuted in, fantastic. Yeah. How have you found that experience? It's actually really good because commuting most people think it would be hard because you don't get to like stay with here people but really is convenient because you can just come in, meet everyone, in lecture you just talk and in lab you get to meet each other. Yeah, so you get to, you still um, get involved in the social aspects as well? Yeah, because they have societies here at Brunel. You can join societies meet people there as well. Fantastic. And what sort of societies have you joined? I haven't joined any currently. No? But no. what about in your first year? Did you do anything there? Uh, no, I don't really. No, so how did you kind of meet lots of different people? I came to Freshers Week and that's when they have like events and so we come into events where they all meet and like get to know each other, talk to each other, make friends. Oh brilliant, so you've got like, your friends, obviously friends in your course, yeah. and that you socialise with, that's really great. And um, what about the facilities here, um, what sort of facilities are available to the biomedical science students? So, especially in the first year, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's still rel relatively split between lectures and, and the practicals. We have got a big lecture centre with big lecture theatres, um, where the, all the lectures are taking place, and then we have um, quite nice lab facilities. We've got a large, spacious teaching lab that is brand new, refurbished, um, where all the first practicals are taking place. But um, then, of course, as the students progress in the course, um, the groups become smaller, so there's slightly more intimate teaching. And, of course, that kind of culminates. Every student in, the th in his final year is doing a final year project, and that is in a research environment. So this is in a lab like this, where the academics are doing their own research. Everybody has a choice of various projects. And um, then every academic will have maybe four or five students to supervise. It is as close to a one-to-one -one supervision as possibly get. And it's in a real-world um, uh, scientific environment where, where active research is taking place. That's really great. And I guess that shows a lot of support that you do get from your academics with sort of one-to-one. -one. Um, you obviously have your office hours as well, where you kind of open up to the students to come and um, email, visit. That kind of thing? That depends a little bit on the academics. So, for example, I personally don't really have specific office hours. I respond to students on a need to um, yeah. to meet basis, really. So, they, as soon as they need something, I will make myself available. Wow, that's um, really flexible, actually. That, more is, flexible, not that flexible. is flexible. Brilliant. I mean, yeah. it's easier for me as well because I have lab work, so I can always interact with the students and say, well, when are you available? I'm available then. Let's just meet and, and get it sorted. Okay. But other colleagues will have very dedicated office hours and, and will be available. Defined times. Brilliant. And how have you found that kind of support? Has it been useful? 
it is really useful because every time we need help, we just like email our academic and tell us what time they're available. If they can answer it through email, they do that. But if they can't, we go and meet them and they like answer it properly. Fantastic. And obviously you had the support from the professional development centre as well to sort of help you get in placement as well. So you had lots of support throughout your course. Oh yeah, they have the professional development centre. They help you, like they help me, let's say, make my CV. I made it, took it to them, she fixed it and everything. And then I fixed it and then I got the interview. And then I went back to her, she helped me prepare for my interview as well. That's wow, how I got the job. Brilliant, that's really good. So you've got all this support in the group now. Yeah. And um, so, Talia, the one sort of last thing from you, could you just give um, maybe a couple of tips or like a big tip um, to these guys for when they're sort of looking to apply to Brunel? Tip would be to definitely attend Freshers Week because that's when like there are many events going on and that's where you make friends because everyone is you on that day. Mm -hmm. Like everyone gets to know each other, meet each other, talk and that's how you make friends. Fantastic. So you need to make sure that you're attending Freshers Fair. Um, do we have any live questions? We don't have any live questions, but we've got a comment which just says wow. <laughs> and we've also got another comment which says the involvement um, that biomedics is the future. The involvement of technology, technology and biomedics has opened up a whole new world of innovation and research. Brilliant. Great work. Great, 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 comments, yeah, great comments. Brilliant feedback. Fantastic. Um, well, that's all from us today. Um, do keep the questions coming in um, and we'll get back to you on those. If you want to ask questions um, on our clearing website, it's www.brunel.ac.uk forward slash clearing and you can post your questions there. Um, and good luck with your exams. We hope you do really well. We look forward to seeing you.